back to another episode of Quick and Bake. Today we're going to be making some Totoro cookies. So I'm super excited. What you're gonna need today is either gingerbread or sugar cookie mix, white royal icing, brown sprinkles, an oval cookie cutter, and a tiny little oval cookie cutter, and these little edible eyes. I got these edible eyes at Michael's. If you can't find them, you can also use white royal icing with black icing. First things first, we're gonna make the dough. Once the gingerbread dough forms, it's gonna be really sticky, so we're going to cover it with cellophane and put it in the fridge for about 15 minutes so it's easier to work with. Once the dough has chilled, we're gonna lightly flour our surface and roll it out. So now we're gonna grab our oval cookie cutter and cut out an oval shape for Totoro's body. We're also gonna grab the smaller oval cookie cutters and we're going to cut these out. These are going to be his ears. With the spatula, we're gonna move it over to our cookie sheet. Now with the small oval cookie cutter, we're gonna cut out where Totoro's ears would be. They would lie here and also here. Where those holes are, we're going to place the oval cookies that we cut out. And we're going to blend the dough together with our fingers so that it doesn't have any crease lines. Once all of your gingerbread tutorials are on your cookie sheet, they're now ready to be baked for seven to nine minutes. If you're using sugar cookie mix, I would really recommend dyeing the dough gray or blue or whatever color tutorial you want. All right, so once your cookies are completely cool, we're now ready to decorate. So I'm gonna grab some white royal icing. So we're gonna grab our royal icing and work on his belly. So we're gonna make a big circle from the bottom of the cookie up to the center for his tummy. Then grab a toothpick and spread it evenly so it covers the whole cookie. Now with the same toothpick, grab some icing from the stomach and make two dots for the eyes. Now place the edible eyes on top of those dots. Again, grab some icing and make a dot for the nose and the whiskers. Now with some tweezers, grab some of your chocolate sprinkles and we're going to place them in the place of the nose and the whiskers. Also, place the sprinkles for the decoration on his tummy. Now for the final touch, his smile. So go ahead and make a small little oval shape right underneath the nose. And with your toothpick, spread the edges to the center of the eyes. You can also use a clean side of the toothpick to make teeth. So each line you do, wipe the excess icing off and just make another line for the teeth. Once you're done adding all of your decorations, you now have Totoro gingerbread cookies. I love these, they are so adorable and I'm sure they taste delicious. If you guys try this, be sure to tweet me a picture at Aya's Cupquake of your creation or you can also leave a comment on my Cupquake Facebook fan page. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, leave a comment below if you guys have any suggestions or ideas for me to make for next week's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Cupquake, and I'll see you all later. Bye!